This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Stay tuned to find out more about Skillshare and how you can join their online learning community. Okay, first five seconds of this video is me inside of this school bus. Whoever can name what school bus I'm in in the comments below wins. You don't win anything, it's just that uh, we're back in Ivan. So after a massive snowstorm back in New York. Oh man. Literally, we've been waiting for months we're just about to get on a plane. I've got to get to the airport in like eight hours. We're going to get Ivan. And the Adirondacks literally threw us a snowstorm. It's got to be. It's like a foot and a half deep. All I wanted to do was go pick up Ivan. I hope the flight's on time. I hope we can get to the airport. We got it all plowed out. We're heading to the airport. Snow's not gonna stop us. Um, Jimmy, last night, was super awesome and amazing and picked up my school bus from the mechanic and brought it to his shop. So it was just sitting here when I showed up last night. All right, guys. <laughs> we gotta... Get this thing, I'm not, we just showed up in Colorado. Rick and I just showed up. I'm telling Jimmy the entire way to his house from the airport, I need to get the bus, I need to get the bus. How am I gonna get the bus? Jimmy got the bus for me. <laughs> You're the <Yeah>. man. <laughs> Dude, now we get to work on the trailer and I don't have to work on the bus, we just gotta drive it home. <laughs> wow, it literally has no leaks. We didn't have any leaks, no leaks. Nope, no leaks. And it's in Jimmy's shop. My favorite thing right now is it's in Jimmy's shop. I never thought this bus would actually be in here. And I got to sleep in it last night. It was just, honestly, it was definitely incredible to finally be back in the bus after, I think it's been seven months now since we've seen this bus. So we are officially got the bus back. The transmission is fixed. It's ready to go, ready to drive. But uh, we're at Jimmy's. So I'm gonna help him out with this trailer for the next few days and then Rick and I are gonna take this bus back to New York. Before we get too involved in this trailer, let's check out Ivan and see how it did while I was just sitting. You can't see it, but when we were driving out to Colorado way back, I think it was in July of last year, we lost some of these transmission cooler lines. Uh, we ended up losing the transmission, blew out a couple other lines. It was just a total train wreck, but it's completely fixed at this point and the engine's good to go. The inside, it did sustain a little bit of damage. Overall, it, it really held out phenomenally. I was kind of concerned. Uh, we don't have any power in here right now, but I was kind of concerned you know, what was gonna happen because we really, this bus, we took it on the road trip with Dale, Justin, my sister, her van, um, but we didn't really finish it. We just kind of went on a road trip. So I didn't really have everything perfectly sealed. I didn't have everything perfectly done. Uh, we still have to finish the bathroom when we get back to New York. We still have to put the solar system in when we get back to New York. Apparently I didn't seal the roof as good as I thought because either a leak, condensation, um, something happened to this front board right here. So we're gonna have to remove this front board, uh, do some investigation when we get back and figure out exactly why this happened. Uh, this is really the only major thing that happened. Uh, besides that, the floor is held up, uh, all the wood held up. It doesn't look like anything warped or bent or you know whatnot, but uh, I do think that there's a leak somewhere so we're gonna have to fix that. You know, that's kind of a, that's a New York problem. Uh, right now, I'm sleeping in the back, uh, Rick's uh, sleeping in the shop. We're both gonna bunk out on here on the way home, but for the rest of this video, we're gonna be helping out Jimmy. Oh look, there's Jimmy. We're gonna be helping Jimmy out on this trailer. Uh, this is a snowmobile trailer. It's a similar design of the one that you guys remember maybe uh, we built two years ago. It's similar to this one, but Jimmy now built this one for himself and his family, and then you ended up actually selling it. Yep. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be finishing this thing up. Uh, we have to do some paint work. Uh, he's got a whole list as Jimmy always does. Thank you, Jimmy, for always having a list. Uh, but we're gonna be putting upper cabinets right up here. Uh, we gotta paint the back wall right here. Try to build a dinette right here. And then, I don't know. That's it. Yeah, then we can just have start having some fun. That's right. But uh, thanks everyone. Everyone can thank Jimmy. Jimmy got the bus for us. And you don't know how happy me and everyone out there that you got the bus and you pulled in your shop. Ivan I, is here. It's good to go. It's home.
Yep. It is home. It's in your shop. Yep. Yeah. And it, hopefully everything runs good and you're, Whoa. Able, to, you're able to get it back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And now a quick message from our sponsor, Skillshare. And we're currently inside Navi, the other bus that's not Ivan, the one that's in New York, but we're picking up Ivan to bring it back to hang out with Navi. Both buses will be together pretty soon. Now, if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community of thousands and thousands of people from over 150 different countries, all looking to take the next steps in their creative journey. Skillshare is an ad-free program unlike a lot of other programs we know out there, so you won't have to worry one bit about being interrupted while you're taking a course or learning a new skill. Skillshare is also being updated weekly, so you don't have to ever worry about running out of content or courses or anything to learn because there's always new things being uploaded. Now, one course that I've particularly been interested in and was actually turned on to by Rachel, my sister, is on a course, How to Cook Productively, Meal Planning for Beginners. Now, this course at first I was not that interested in, but Rachel really sold me on it, mostly because, as many of you know, we have a revolving door of people coming in and out of my house and in and out of my property and they're all travelers from all over the country and the hardest thing to do when people are coming around is learning how to meal plan correctly how to actually cook for many people cook for one person and this is a course that specifically goes through the ins and outs of what supplies you need the best tools to have on hand in your kitchen and then breaks down different recipe ideas and how to cook them using the tools that they then suggest now if you're interested in Skillshare the first thousand people to click the link down in my description or use my code We'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thanks for paying attention to the sponsor. Thanks for hanging out in Navi for a few seconds, but let's get back to Ivan and the trailer. Well, Jimmy already had the boxes made for all the cabinets, so these are the upper cabinets right here. We just cut all the doors, so now we get to go back to that wonderful thing we all remember from Ivan, edge banding. Just a lot of edge banding. So I already got the bottom edge done. I made this little jig right here uh, so that we can clamp it on and just be able to have it standing up. The reason why I was doing this is because then I can put the pressure straight down. I found that it's really hard to do it on the side, so making a little jig always makes it a lot easier, especially when you gotta get like six doors done. And while I'm doing this, Jimmy's on daddy daycare. <laughs> Wayne and I just making sure everything's going well. Yeah, don't, don't worry. He's the supervisor, he's the foreman. That's right. I'm doing good, aren't I, supervisor? <laughs> <laughs> Got all the doors edge banded. I'm just mocking up right over here uh, what we're gonna do with the molding. Jimmy's getting all the cabinets sanded, so they're gonna be ready to install, to get all the stuff kind of jigged out. But I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. Uh, Jimmy's gonna be putting these cabinets in that back upper part of the trailer where the mountain scene is, and we're trying to figure out kind of a threshold to kind of give this nice lines. He's doing the cabinets similar to what we did on Ivan, so. Uh, luckily, we've done this before, but we're just trying to figure out our spacing to get them nailed correctly and all the different measurements, but I think we like this look. This is probably going to fit in really well, but I'll go show you the trailer really quick and where they're actually going to end up. These cabinets, the plan is to bring them from this piece of molding. They're going to come all the way through, uh, almost to where this pipe is, which goes down to the boot dryer at the end, or boot dryer, the boot, hat, helmet, gloves, you know, whenever you're getting freezing cold snowmobiling weather. Uh, but the cabinet's gonna come somewhere to about right here where this pipe is. Then we gotta put like a threshold in. So that top molding's gonna go full length and then we're gonna put our cabinets in and then put a little piece of spacer that's gonna kinda hide uh, this top corner up here. But I think it's gonna look really good. Jimmy did an amazing job on this backsplash as I said before. So uh, this is gonna be great when the cabinets get in and really finish up that front. I think we're also eventually gonna get these bottom ones closed up because uh, I think he needs doors for those still. Uh, we'll see how much we get done. Uh, it's really great to be back in Colorado. Great to have Ivan back and just be hanging out with Jimmy out here on the shop. Yeah, we're gonna get these things put in.
We have all the cabinets put together. All of the molding pieces are done, so now we just have to wait to final assemble them. So everything's kind of just sitting here in little jigsaw pieces. The next thing we gotta do is put shelves in. Jimmy wants to put some fixed shelves. So we got some spacers made and we've got the wood. So now we just gotta cut it. Where'd you get those measurements from? Nine and a half. Plus nine four zero. Nine and an eight. No, I'm just right. Perfect. Absolutely. Safety first round here. Wow, it worked! <laughs> <laughs> we did math right. Wow! <laughs> So if you're gonna put a lift here, it almost doesn't matter. Because then you can just put right. you could Jimmy, you're not supposed to point in that direction. Oh, I didn't realize you were recording. Oh. <laughs> Look what you just got done. Nice and stout. Hopefully it fits. Did you measure twice and cut once? Yeah. Well, you measured twice, so if it doesn't fit, it's your <laughs> You hope I measured twice. The cabinet is 90% done at this point. We just got our top piece in, which is running the full length. It will match our doors to make a flat front. And we've got this side all put together where we've got our mounting locations and then you see we've got mounts all along the top. Jimmy's currently countersinking the holes so we can get the screws in. Uh, but this guy's pretty much ready to put in the trailer. The last thing that we're going to have to do when we actually get this thing installed is we're going to have to put this last piece of molding in that goes to the wall. But we have to wait to put it in because that's where the exhaust pipe comes through that I was showing you. So we're going to have to do that, you know, after we get this thing in. But hopefully it just slides right in. That's the, that's the plan. Uh, come forward, Jimmy. Yep. So we can get our angle better. Yep. So we're both on the same thing. Half an inch, almost there. I almost, I'm almost in. Half an inch. A quarter of an inch. Yep, I'm in. <laughs> Alright, Jimmy. I'm just going to film the success, even though we have some adjustments to make. The cabinet's not perfect, but come on. It's it now, looks, now it's just now it's just adjustments. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's just adjustments now. Like we got we got to fix a little bit of the angle here. It's not perfectly tight, and then we got to put this piece back up, and then put that piece of molding in. But I mean, it's there. Finished up the cabinets, they're completely installed. Still have to finish up some pieces and put the doors on, but Jimmy and I decided that we're gonna leave that for him when I head out because what he wants to do now uh, is build a dinette space right here in front of that fridge and in between this bed. So we're gonna be building about, I think it's gonna end up being about 78 inches uh, full width. It's gonna be a foldable dinette that turns into a six foot bed. Uh, so we're gonna be putting that right in this location. And then when I head out, probably in about two or three days, um, he's gonna be finishing up all of that. but. We've got him pretty far ahead. Uh, it's really hard to lift cabinets by yourself. So I was glad I was here to help him out, but we're gonna get started on this dinette and head over into the workshop. Jimmy, what do you think about your two-dimensional dinette? It's really comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if you look at it from the side, yeah, it's it just, looks done. Yeah, it looks done. Yeah, it's like, from this angle, it's not done. But from this angle, it's totally done. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the plan now is uh, Jimmy has a pedestal that will go here and up. There'll be a two foot table and there's your bench. And then it will fall down like that and you'll end up with a bed. Bring it up, you got yourself a table and a good snowmobiling weekend. Jimmy has masterfully cut every single piece perfectly and I just assisted him. Uh, all of these pieces right here are cut for our benches. We've got our back plates, our front plates, our actual pieces, and then uh, the seats. So what we gotta do now is find out which edges we need to band that are gonna be revealed, band all of those, and then once we do that, uh, we gotta craig all of our holes to put it together, and then it's just assembly. And that's probably gonna be the easy part compared to the rest of this, because this is the time consuming part. So we'll just, we'll just get a time lapse this whole thing and we'll see you in like two seconds. After hours and hours of edge banding and craigging out all the holes that Jimmy did, we're finally ready to start assembling these dinettes. We have all the pieces marked, they're all measured. Hopefully we did it correctly. Hopefully we did it correctly. <laughs> A full day's worth of work. Yes. Right here. Yep, just- and It's not it's, even assembled yet. Nope, it's just a bunch of Ikea pieces, pretty much. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, we're gonna set it up over here with all the jigs and uh, clamps, screw it together, and uh, fingers crossed that this thing just goes together and slides right in, just like the upper cabinet did. some of the edges and then we pretty much are just gonna bring this thing into the trailer and then that is number one of two and then we still have to build the table man things take way longer than we think it's fine <laughs> it still looks great uh, so I think it's gonna go right there on that tape line oh, yeah. man. <coughs> tedious Great. It's a lot of work for a <laughs> tiny chair. I know, right? This thing's so small. It's all right. It'll work. It looks so good, though. It's you gonna go to sleep it. now? I'm just gonna take a nap. Wait, we still got one more to build, then we gotta build the table. Eh. <laughs> well, one is officially in. We just gotta screw it down, but, you know, lifts up, storage. Uh, things awesome. One fun thing that Jimmy showed me is these cushions. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be able to give me a link or something for everyone out there, but these cushions he bought, uh, pre-made, sized, everything, they were RV replacements. Yep. So they were pretty much just... Like a standard size. Yeah. So then the idea is, is with, <clears throat> with this, uh, this cushion here, you take the tabletop, you set it down, and then, you know, you do the same thing on the other side, and then it gives you six feet of bed space, so... Should work pretty good. Six foot bed. The problem is, Jimmy, you're six four. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean it's for me? I'm five ten. Yeah. Yes. Yep, it's for Mike. <laughs> Mike's dinette. Man, that looks so good though. The colors, even yeah. what you're wearing right now, matches. 
You're literally just like, you just designed the trailer after yourself. Earth tones are my thing, Mike. Yeah, well, was, you, you're definitely killing it on the earth tones for sure. <laughs> Look at this thing. Countertops, backsplash, dinette. And Jimmy did all of this by himself, except for that cabinet with me and that right there. So like, spray foam, sheeting, heating, the bed right there that folds down. Solar, electrical. Everything. Windows, all the good stuff. Came back from our break, went out to go visit some friends that I haven't seen in a while out here in Colorado, but we have one dinette done at this point. And now, uh, Jimmy, before we head out and start heading back east to New York, we have to put together the last dinette. Um, it's a little hard to do by yourself without, you know, or you could do it by yourself, but it's a lot more fun to do it with uh, another friend and it's easier to hold the clamps and stuff. So before I head out this afternoon, we're gonna get this thing together and then back to New York. them done. The dinette benches are officially done. Jimmy's gonna add some Velcro to them so they don't slide around because they're kind of slippery. And then we are trying to figure out a way that these are actually gonna be mobile because this is not going to be a full-time home, a full-time tiny home or anything. This is a snowmobiling trailer for the weekends or about a week where people are gonna be heading up into the mountains of Colorado, uh, packing all their snowboils in here, taking them out, and then essentially using this as their living space. So these benches can't really be fixed because you wanna be able to fit three sleds in here. So what Jimmy and I came up with is we're gonna be putting a French cleat on the side of these with a 45 so that these will be able to click in when you're driving and they won't move and shift. But then if you were to move them uh, when you want the snowmobiles in, you can just shift these benches and they'll be totally fine. So I think we came up with a solution for that. You're gonna have to finish that on your own though. Sorry. No, we're sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> Dang it. Because at this point, uh, I've gotta start heading back east with Ivan. We've had a great time here for, I don't know, about a week. It's like just a little bit less than a week just hanging out, uh, getting things done, and yeah. A couple things while you were here. Yeah. Is everything takes at least two, maybe four times as long as you expect. Yes. Therefore, you only get one or two of the four or five things you wanted to do, get done. Um, but we still had a lot of fun, and as always, it's, it's always fun hanging out and working together. Oh yeah. By the end of the project, we have a good rhythm going. Yeah, yeah. And we always we figure it out right at the last day. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. I just got to come by more often. I think that's the plan. It's been a good but, trip, though. Oh gosh, yeah. And now we get to have more adventure because now we get to get Ivan back and hope that nothing breaks. I shouldn't have said that, but we're gonna make it back totally fine. <laughs> Knock on wood. Yeah. Right. Jimmy, thanks for taking care of the bus. No problem. Oh man. Well, we just finished the trailer. Uh, just about to leave Jimmy's place. We're gonna be heading east, uh, back to New York. And we're gonna be boondocking down. Uh, I've got Rick with me, so we're gonna be heading down to Rosita, where you guys uh, saw that I went during the summer to go visit. So we're gonna be heading back down there and then back out to New York. So it's gonna be a real good week of just traveling through Colorado and then it's, uh, Back to building buses and whatever else it is. But good luck with the rest of the trailer. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you, man. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Not the worst place to camp. <laughs> 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 